Hey everyone, Nicole Herrick here with you today. I'm going to show you how to reuse your coffee pods so that you don't have to spend lots of money. So here are the supplies I've got, just some cheap foil, I've just got a bowl that I'm going to put my ground coffee into, um, I've just got a knife so that I can take the um, lids off these, I've got a sharpie so that I can mark um, on the foil and just some scissors to cut out some new foil. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to cut a pattern with on our foil. So I'm just going to do an accordion fold on this. It's a little bit bigger than our pods. Okay, until we have a rough pile. Now I'm going to grab one of my existing coffee pods, just turn it upside down. I'm going to mark how big that is. Okay, so now I'm going to cut around it, but I'm going to cut about five mil uh, a quarter of an inch larger than my circle because we need to be able to just tip it gently over the edge to keep the foil in place. I'm just going to throw away this top one because I don't want to be drinking any permanent marker. Okay, now it's time to take the plastic off these ones and I can show you what's inside of them. So I'm just going to use a knife. You should probably use a smaller knife. Okay, so inside here we have a little piece of plastic which holds all the coffee in place. There's also another little plastic inside here. So let's take this apart. I'm simply going to pop it out in the sink and get rid of all the grinds. Now the grinds are great for your gardens to keep the snails out. So don't get rid of your grinds if you have a garden. Just give the pot a bit of a squeeze to be able to get that first one out. You just want to rinse that off. I'm going to put my grinds into this cup for the moment. I just press the bottom to get the insert inside out. It'll just pop out and then you can give that a good rinse. And then top piece. And just to show you the difference between, um, this is the bottom piece, so it's a little bit smaller, and this is the top piece of plastic. And they actually go with the pointy bits, pointy bits coming towards each other. So this one on the bottom, and this one on the top like this. And I definitely recommend just giving that um, a few hours to dry, because it's really difficult to actually get the water out of there. So I'm going to use one that I've already got dried. Okay, so I'm going to put my bottom piece in, so that one goes into there. And I'm just going to put my ground coffee into a bowl so it's easier to get into the pots. Okay, so we want to fill this and pack it down as we go. Give that a really good press with my thumb. It doesn't mean need to be super compacted, but just sort of enough pressure to make it feel firm. And you want to make sure that the surface of your pod is fairly flat and even. Um, you don't sort of want to have too many sort of bumps up and down um, because a flat surface makes for a better coffee. So now I just need to grab my top piece and remember pointy side is going to go down and just give that a gentle push until it's level with the top and now we're just going to put one of our pieces of foil on and I'm going to do 
I'm not sure if it makes any difference, but I'm going to do doll side up. And it is that easy. Now make sure you store these in an airtight container because it has already actually been pierced at the bottom here. Um, so the coffee machine basically pierces a hole through here and through here and the, the water is forced through the pod and comes out the bottom. Uh, and that, so that's how you get your nice shot of coffee. Now let's pop this in the machine and test that it works okay. And there we have a perfect shot of coffee, nice layer of crema on there and saving you lots of money on those expensive pods. I hope that was helpful guys. See you next time.